Hey guys, this is Steve Percy here from Sprint Networks. So in today's day and age, when it comes to protecting your network from external threats, you need to be looking at the right solutions. Well, IDS, Intrusion Detection System, and IPS, Intrusion Protection System. Well, what exactly are they? What can they do? And how can they protect your network? Well, let's take a closer look. So an Intrusion Detection System, or IDS, monitors network traffic to detect threats and raise alerts to a management system. Whereas an intrusion protection system or IPS inspects network traffic, detects threats and automatically takes action to avert the attack. Similar to a firewall, IPS is deployed in line in the traffic flow. IPS is an active network component that examines every passing packet and takes remedial action per its configuration. In contrast, IDS is a passive component, typically not deployed in line, and instead monitors the traffic flow via SPAN or TAP technology to raise notifications. So guys, before we go any deeper into this topic, let's try and do a little bit of background as in trying to understand the vulnerabilities facing a typical network. So a breach or an intrusion is any unauthorized access or activity in a network or computer system. Threat actors exploit diverse methods and vulnerabilities to access confidential resources, steal private data, alter data, destroy resources, or block access to resources with the goal of impairing productive business operation. The attack surface is the area of your network and other digital operations potentially open to intrusion by unauthorized access. The more connected your network and resources are, the broader the attack surface is. So how do these systems detect or deal with threats? Well, these systems detect suspicious or unauthorized activities such as phishing attacks, virus infection and distribution, malware and ransomware, reinstallation and download, denial of service or DOS, man-in-the-middle attacks, zero-day attacks, and SQL injection. Well, cyber attacks trend towards increasing sophistication over a period of time. Well, there are two different types of threats. So known threats are typically detected by matching traffic patterns against signature patterns. Frequently updated databases contain vast troves of signatures characterizing existing threats. So these systems continuously look for matches against known signatures. Whereas unknown threats are malicious patterns never seen before, sometimes evasive variations of known threats and are significantly more difficult to detect. So these systems use behavioral analysis to pinpoint potentially harmful traffic patterns. So what are the different types of IDS or intrusion detection systems? Well, intrusion detection systems generally come in two flavors. Well, what are they? Let's have a look. So Network Intrusion Detection Systems or NIDS. This system is part of the network infrastructure and monitors packets as they flow through the network. NIDS usually co-resides with devices that have span, tap or mirroring capability such as switches. The other one is host-based intrusion detection system or HIDS. This software resides on client, computer or server devices and monitors events and files on the device. Well, let's look at the different types of intrusion protection systems or IPS. Well, there are multiple types of intrusion protection systems. The first one is Network-Based Intrusion Prevention System or NIPS. So this system is deployed in line in the network infrastructure and examines all traffic in the entire network. The second one is Wireless Intrusion Prevention System or WIPS. So this system is part of the wireless network infrastructure and examines all wireless traffic. The third one is host-based intrusion prevention system or HIPS. So this software resides on the client, computer or server devices and monitors events and files on the device. And finally, we've got behavior IPS. So this system is part of the network infrastructure and examines all traffic for unusual patterns and behavior in the entire network. So how do IPS and IDS work in Sprint Networks Managed versus Secure SD-WAN? 
Well, let me show you how. So here's how it works. Versa's secure cloud IP architecture offers a unique secure SD-WAN solution in an integrated, single stack, hardware agnostic, software only offering that scales to the needs of any network. The integration of security into the very fabric of the solution simplifies your network architecture, reduces the number of devices to manage and limits the attack surface. So the Versa Secure SD-WAN single pass parallel processing architecture ensures the highest IDS IPS inspection performance and obviates the need for dedicated single purpose intrusion inspection devices. Ground up integration of security within the Versa stack ensures full IDS IPS functionality is available everywhere in your network to protect against every internet, public network, personal mobile device, or IoT connection. A key aspect of Versa's secure SD-WAN software-defined security is the contextual intelligence and awareness of users, devices, sites, circuits, and clouds. This enables robust and dynamic policies that support a multi-led security posture. For example, IT can deploy contextual IPS policies for specific users and devices when utilizing certain site-to-site -site or internet links. Versus true multi-tenant architecture, which encompasses complete segmentation and isolation of the data, control, and management planes, means that customized IDS IPS policies can be defined for every sub-network, organization, or business unit within your network. So guys, why Sprint Networks managed secure SD-WAN powered by Versa Networks. So the Versa Secure SD-WAN is recommended by NSS Labs. The NSS Lab test report shows the security effectiveness of Versa's Flex VNF software was able to block 100% of the evasion vectors tested and provided attack coverage of 99.8% for static exploits. So guys, that's it from me here at Sprint Networks. I'll be back with another video very, very soon. In the meantime, to find out more about our managed services, you can head to our website, sprintnetworks.com.au forward slash managed, or also drop us an email at info at sprintnetworks.com. So till then, take care and goodbye.